guys, welcome to today's episode. Um, we have we have developed some pretty interesting new uh, plans in our life that we'll share with you soon. Um, but right now, we have finally decided that it is time to go to Baja. We were gonna leave a couple days ago, and we'll tell you why we didn't really soon. But um, we are just gonna start getting this girly ready and start packing up. We're gonna hit the road because we're going down to Baja. Bless you. Thankfully, Moon takes pretty good naps in the morning, usually pretty long, sometimes two hours, sometimes two two-hour naps. So that means we can get a lot done. Um, Fam, we are heading out of Phoenix. A lot has happened. We can't wait to fill you guys in over the next probably month of what's going on, but we're really excited. However, we have, I don't even know what Allie vlogged earlier. I'm just, I'm vlogging blind here. We have a six hour drive to San Felipe. We're trying to pack a lot in today because we want to get a head start. Condensed time in Mexico. We need a head start. We want to get south to our small beach town where we met two years ago almost as fast as possible. So we are heading out of Phoenix right now and we are going to pick you guys up on the road, make sure everything goes smoothly. We gotta cross a border today. We've gotta to find a place to stay tonight. We've gotta to feed Maya, make sure she gets her naps in. So it's gonna be a lot, but I think we'll get it done. All right, guys, we're on the road, heading to Mexico. And for a minute there, we didn't think we were going to be going to Mexico, but we are going and we're going quick and I'm getting some fuel. Allie's getting some stuff at Costco and I am actually wearing the same outfit I crossed last year. I don't know how much of a Van Fam memory you have, but this was the same shirt I crossed in last year. So pretty serendipitous if you ask me. Moon just fell asleep for an hour and then we had to move her but I think she's gonna fall back asleep. Don't wake the baby, fan fan. That's our new motto. <laughs> okay guys, we've got about, oh shoot. We've got about two and a half hours to the border, so this will be interesting. First border crossing with them. The border town, we just got our pesos. It doesn't sound like Moon's too happy about going to Mexico. <laughs> or she just doesn't like the exchange rate I just got. 
Mom's getting a bottle. Huck's in my chair. Come on, Huck. Abajo. Pig. Ah, we got it. It's always complicated getting across the border. Okay, so Allie's back is now broken and she cannot use her right arm is what I'm, that's the latest van fam. We have pesos, Moon needs a nap, and soon we'll be Viva La Mexico. Okay, I'm gonna put San Felipe. We are trying to make it to beautiful San Felipe. Let's get across this border, guys. Are you ready? Are you stressed? No, my back is in a lot of pain though. You said it's broken and you can't use your right arm, but it looks to me like you're using your right arm. <laughs> I mean, to reach over and do things. I know, I'm just ah! <gasps> You okay? Massage? No. Ah, I think I pulled something. Shoot, that doesn't sound fun. As Ali pulled something in her back, and we have a border to cross, so hopefully they don't do any kind of back-breaking vehicle inspections. Am I right? Do you want to take a bet on if they're going to check our passport? I'm going to go with no. Last year, I, which I'm wearing the same outfit as I told you, is my this is my border crossing outfit. They did not check our passports, and. We didn't hit this traffic because we crossed at like 7.30 and now we know. But I will say no. No, I will say, yeah, no. They're not gonna look at our passports. If they were smart though, they'd look at this little moon's passport and get a good little chuckle at how cute she is. Next one, okay. <laughs> The moment of truth, where'd our passports go? Allie's got our passports, okay. We are in lane number eight, guys. <laughs> Lucky number eight. Let me see the passports. <laughs> Allie's withholding passports. <laughs> Very excited to be back. Uh, even though I believe we left saying we wouldn't come back. <laughs> Okay guys, well, we, they got a vehicle inspection this time, but they do not... They still didn't look at they the passports. They do not care about passports here. And the reason why we got Moon's passport is not to get into Mexico, but to get out of Mexico, so. Oh, it's good to see some familiar faces like OXO. We're back to OXO. I'm wanting pescados and mariscos, tacos de camarones. Babe, what are you feeling right now besides tecate? <laughs> yes, I'd love some fish tacos for dinner. It feels great to be back. The freedom, the it. freedom you feel when you cross that border and they don't look at your passport is... It hits. Un, it just doesn't, it's just incredible, it's just great. Great country with great people. Moon is falling asleep, you can tell because her pacifier has fallen out of her mouth, so good job, Moon. Well, we just, we just made it through our first military checkpoint, which was uh, about 30 minutes before San Felipe. Uh, very solid performance by me, I must say. I feel like my Spanish after last year's debacle is uh, much better than it would have normally been, so that was good. But right now, we need to get some food. So we are heading to San Felipe, and we are going to get there. We're driving in the dark, which is kind of one of the things you don't really want to do in Baja, but I think up in this northern section, there's not too many Vacas, cows, or any that I've seen. So we're making that calculated risk here to to drive at night and see how far we can get before we decide to pack it in for the night. Whoa. 
Well guys, do we have an update for you? Oh man, and I've made a critical mistake. Very critical, and I kind of knew I did it when I did it. But we are in the middle of nowhere, in northern Baja, a couple hours south of San Felipe, which is where I should have got gas. I had half a tank of gas when I left, and I didn't notice until about 30 minutes outside of San Felipe. And now we're at this gas station that I don't like to fill up at because it's expensive, but I knew it was coming up. And when I pulled in here, they said their batteries were down, so they have no power to pump the gas. They have gas, they don't have any way to get the gas into my vehicular. So, babe, your thoughts. So we're just going to make coffees and maybe have some breakfast and take care of the dogs and moon and then we'll hit the road whenever the gas is ready. Could be one hour, could be five. Yeah, the rule, another cardinal rule, along with don't drive at night or avoid driving at night is always fill up whenever you see a gas station if it's more than a quarter tank empty. That's, that's my cardinal rule. I've made Allie for breakfast the meal that we had for breakfast pretty much every morning the year we met in Baja. How serendipitous. Tortillas, peanut butter, and banana. And then this little girly is looking extra cute and sh soon she's going to be in her warm weather clothing, but not quite today. Still no update on the gas situation, so... I just really hope we're getting past Guerrero Negro tonight. I was hoping to get a few hours past there so tomorrow's drive was really short into La Ventana, but I just hope we're out of here by noon. That would be, I'll take that at this point. And that's three hours from now. Alright gang, we got gas. It was only about whew, maybe 80, 90 minutes wait. Here comes Allie back from the baño. Let's tell her the good news. We've got gas. Yay! It actually gave me enough time to eat breakfast, get the van ready, get girly ready, go to the bathroom. You got, you go girl. So we can hit the road now. Only problem is we've got a sleeping girly in the back who looks pretty good. So we're going to figure out the exact plan. Don't really love moving her when she's in a good nap. So maybe we'll just hang out for a bit longer, but we got gas. We got enough to get us to the next town and hopefully it's cheaper gas prices there. <laughs> so let's do it. They're too tight. You can't stretch them out. Oh, they just a touch too tight, huh? Gosh, how great does Allie look, Van Fam? Nine weeks postpartum almost. Look at that, sexy mama. No. Yes. Guys, Allie and I have both gained weight. I had an injury, Allie had a baby, and man, do I feel overweight. So we're both hoping to slim down on this trip. Right, babe? That's right. <laughs> We've literally just been driving all day and dealing with Moon, who we now believe, well we know, we've known for a while has reflux and we need to, we need to help her out. Right babe? Yes, it's uh, become very apparent on this trip that she has it, but I'm not really sure what to do about it to be honest. I don't know if there's a whole lot you can do. I know you can like not lay them down right after feeding and stuff like that, so. Moon, look at you over there, Moon. Do you guys want to say hi to Moon? Of so course they do. We were just in the Mulege Brewing Company, which I highly recommend if you're doing the Baja Peninsula and you, you're obviously going to go through Mulege. 
I recommend it and it was awesome. Yep. Really good. But uh, we watched our Tiny Home Tours episode, which just came out. So go check that out on Tiny Home Tours, big channel. And we did an episode with them in San Diego, or Ventura. And it was it was, it was was a lot of fun, and it came out great. Very. Except for Allie flubbed a few lines, but... <laughs> Your brain doesn't work as well when, after just pregnancy. Kidding. Totes JK, guys. Don't, don't get me in the comment section. Let's say hi to Moon, and then no, we'll hit, get hit to me bed. In the comment section. <laughs> get me in the comment section, guys. Okay, Moon. Can you say hi to the van fam who loves you? You low riding with your beanie. Hi. Are you being talkative because you're ready for a bottle? Are you ready for a bottle? Okay, say goodnight. Good night. Okay, guys, good night. We'll pick you up again in the morning. And man, we've made so much headway. We've only got another seven or eight hours to La Ventana. So Yay. let's do it. Shout out Van Powers again. They we worked with them on a video, but man, this is like the one of the best van life products I've ever seen. 1500 watt power station. We've had two other ones in the past. They were a little bit cheaper than this, but not not even remotely close to the quality and the um, the capabilities of it. This thing is absolutely amazing. So I just have to keep shouting them out. It runs our whole van right now. We, I don't know where we'd be without it. If we had better batteries and didn't use them, kill them, we wouldn't need that, but we don't. So <laughs> we need that. <laughs> made it to Loreto. We just stopped and had chilaquiles and huevos rancheros with fresh homemade tortillas which make all the difference. We are fully ready for our five hour drive south to La Ventana. The final stretch as I like to call it. Yay! It's not bad at all. We'll be having dinner with friends tonight. Can't wait. So excited to introduce our baby girl to some of Literally our very favorite people and somebody you guys know very well, Andrew Dog. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We are excited. I'm just done ready to be done driving. Ready to get Moon into a house and we may have to look for an Airbnb for a few nights. It's all kind of up in the air right now, so we'll see. You guys will be there with us every step of the way, of course. <laughs> Dan uh, Dan has driven all but one half hour so far. Yeah. I would like to drive, but Tend to noon, so yeah, and you clean up the van nicely, guys. I have OCD about keeping the van tidy, it just makes me happier to have a tidy van, right? You go, queen. You also may have noticed I got a five dollar haircut, and Allie says it looks messed up, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at it in the camera now, and I don't really know or care, so <laughs> people want to judge me. They can do it in the comments section, guys. They say they say the difference between a good haircut and a very bad haircut is two weeks. So there you go. He'll look so. better in a few weeks. Guys, we have pulled up to one of the most magnificent views in Baja. It is girly sleeping. Dan is getting some drone footage. Yeah, guys. How about you check this out?
is curly. Okay, van fam, we've got one more city until La Paz, which is basically almost to La Ventana. Ciudad de Insurgentes. And it's basically one main road, but we'll see what's there. We just got a bag of naranjas, oranges, about 20 naranjas for $6 in Loreto. Pretty happy about that. So we're making good time. We're gonna be in La Ventana probably Geez, I want to say three hours, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel like your reflux has just gotten so much worse. Give me the car. about to make our favorite turn of the whole drive. The famous left Are turn. Are you ready? Tell us how you're feeling. Give us your thoughts. Oh, it's always good to get this drive over with. We, you know, a lot of people go through this drive and want to stop at all this, but the, the places, and that's good too, especially if you're not kiters, but we like to get down here as fast as possible. We've, we've done this drive. This is our, this is my fourth time. This is your, oh wait, yeah, fourth time. You've done it a bunch, so we like to zip down, get to our spot, and just kind of settle in, and we're almost there. <laughs> feels good, it feels nostalgic. I met my, the love of my life there, you know? Oh yeah, who's that? <laughs> He's the guy who has driven the entire way. Yes, I have. The entire way. That I have. 